now that we have spent one trillion on research and development. Not we. Should be telling us how much you have put into research. So that you will inspire Guinea Bissau. You will inspire Congo. So Nigerian president has spent one trillion on research. If you give me the opportunity, I will spend a trillion on research. I know what it will do. Research and development leads to innovation. Go and see how much China is putting into R&D. You know, the research fund of Harvard University, the research fund of Harvard University is bigger than the budget of all the Southwest states put together. I don't want to say it's bigger than that of Nigeria's budget. You'll be shocked how much General Motors is putting into research. So when you see them developing, you think, you think it just, they, they just woke up and it just fell from heaven? Go and see how much Facebook is putting on research and development. Yeah, they'll be buying a cup of rice and be insulting the sensibility of citizens. Since 1999, we've been doing palliative, sharing rice, Gary. What a nation. You, you debase a people by those palliatives. President will send in 20 trucks of rice. State governors will go and rebag it and put their pictures. You see, the, the, very un, the level of unseriousness that is going on here. Just food, 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 food. And the citizens are all running through food, 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 food. So, there's, so what everybody's talking about is hunger. The hunger of the stomach. But yet they cannot cultivate their lands. You're traveling from Ibadan to Lagos, green land. You see land wasting away. Small Israel has turned desert into vegetations that can feed Africa. Israel is not as big as Oyo. But you can see the whole land. I did a research on Kenya. I went into interior area in Kenya. You see, Dutch companies have bought over the lands in Kenya. They bought over the farms. They are the ones farming. And they are buying more lands in Malawi. They are the ones farming. Africans are still using wool and cutlass because we are not investing in research. We are opening more universities by the day. Loud Tech is there. What has Loud Tech done to improve all your state in terms of research? How would they do it? All we do is to pay lecturers their salaries. So if you go to our universities, our lecturers are all chasing MacArthur funding, Ford funding, Bill and Melida Gate funding. But our own billionaires here are buying rights and sharing to people. They are not investing in research. They are not interested. They want you to remain poor. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is funding ITA, funding different research institutions. He who pays the piper dictates the tune. They now tell you what to research on. You now research on what will solve problems or what will give the capitalist more money. And America becomes richer. But our billionaires here, you are not funding research. You're jumping up and down, buying 50 cars that you don't need. You pack them in your compound. You cover them with canopies. We cannot solve our problems. You I cannot solve the problem of Agbo. You I cannot solve its own problems. The professors are praying, are praying in the laboratories. They've turned it to worship centers. It is God that will cure the problems of Africa. And yet God will not cure it. Our churches are not sponsoring research. Mr. President went to Guinea-Bissau. African states should support. How much has Lagos State invested in research? How much? Mr. President, we need more trailers of rice. Bring them in. We cannot even invest in research to produce rice for ourselves. We have opened the borders now. Bring them. Let the food come in. People are hungry. Let them eat. You eat and sleep. You eat and sleep, phone you cannot manufacture. Nothing. Africa must wake up. Edmond Obino, wake up. We're so backward. You know, I'm doing a research on technological decoupling. The more I read 
for that research, for my PhD, the more I become sometimes depressed. That these guys have taken off, taken over everything. Because they are investing in research. They are investing in research. They are investing in human capacity, improving the capacity of their citizens. And the best way to do it is to, is to invest in education. You know, sometimes you I should be a center of international learning. It has become so local. You know, look at UCH. UCH should be a center of international health excellence. Are we investing in UCH? Are we investing? Mr. President, you know, Dangote is talking about oil, 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 petrol, petrol. How much has Dangote put in research? Even research in petrol. How much has Dangote given to the Department of Geology? How many of them have endowed chairs in our universities? Billionaires that are not affecting, affecting their, all they are doing, they are sharing money. You see, billionaires that share money are not brilliant. You share the money, you eat it, and you become broke again. The big gates, they invest in knowledge. Look at how much big gate put into chat GPT. Look, go and investigate how much big gate put into chat GPT for us to have that chat GPT that everybody's using. And we are paying, you know, you know how much they are making? Mark Zuckerberg, how much they are making from Facebook ads? How much YouTube is making from ads? That's you consume the data. It generates money for them on Instagram. Do we have the capacity to say we can compete at that level? Oh, today we are saying he has hit one billion play on Spotify. You know where the money is going? Yes, the artist will make some money. But somehow, we need to build a system where we must take from that money to fund education. But because we don't have that strong technological backbone, we cannot negotiate at that level. Ordinarily, the money that Nigerians are contributing to Facebook, we should be able to take a chunk of it and invest it in science and research. Futa, Futo. I'll be back after this break. The program is State Affairs. It is Splash 105.5 FM. The Integrity Station. Stay tuned.